coming. My name is Doug McCormick. I'm the president of the task force. And on behalf of the task force, thank you all for coming. It's been an amazing evening uh, with a lot of interesting ideas. In the spirit of, this, of Thanksgiving that November brings, uh, I just want to say that we're really grateful to have these five very special people to share with us their thoughts. And we have Bobby on the end, Yaya in the middle with Mary Jane. So we actually have six people that are coming here. And uh, Marina will be showing up soon. And in addition, we have, of course, the amazing uh, outreach team, Maureen and Glenda, who we love and adore. And we're hearing from all of them. Uh, and then at the end, we'll have a opportunity for some questions and an answer. Uh, before we do that, I just wanted to have a few announcements. Number one, um, let me introduce Carmen Kalberg, who is our new volunteer coordinator. Did you want to say a... I'm very excited to be uh, for this position. I got asked, Barbara Overland asked me. I had to think about it a little bit. I didn't know if I was actually up to the task. And let me tell you, my work is cut out for me. I've been going to committee meetings, and I am in awe of some of these people. Their devotion and the time that they are putting into this cause, if they can do it, I can do it. I can give up the time. So it's I'm trying to get my uh, my feet wet and find out what uh, you know what every committee does. So that when I'm approached by somebody who is interested in volunteering, I can find some place for you that it's a great fit for you. So I'm excited about this. Thank you. One of the things I would love for her to find is a volunteer who could take her over the newsletter work that we do. Um, because I've been doing it for a while, someone else ought to have the opportunity to learn how to do MailChimp. Um, if you haven't signed in, it is very helpful to know who is here. Also, if you know of people who would like to be on the email list, let us know, let Pam uh, McGranahan know who uh, we might include in that. Uh, it, it's very helpful to make sure that the message gets out. One last thing before we start, and that is the count is coming up in January. We think it's January 27th, uh, the point in time count that we do every year. It's very helpful to all of the county, in fact, not just the Palisades. So you know, it's for early morning people. Well, guys, it's going to be early morning, but it's, it's kind of a kick. I enjoy it. So with that, let me introduce Sharon, our Vice President and Chair of Communications Committee who plans all these events. It's a lot of work. We owe her a huge debt of gratitude. Uh, well, in the spirit of Thanksgiving, which is our theme, I first of all want to acknowledge Pam McGranahan, um, who is another volunteer who came up to me and said, where can I help? And she's now come on the communications committee and is helping me plan these meetings. Uh, and has just um, really been an inspiration. So um, uh, she came up with the idea for tonight's meeting and really worked with me to make this happen. So I wanted to thank you for that. I also want to thank um, Maureen and Glenda um, and, and Bobby um, and Janet for being here um, and traveling the distance to be here um, and share yourselves with us. Um, I just cannot thank you enough. Our format tonight is that um, we're going to have Bobby speak first, uh, then Janet, and then um, when Marina comes, she will just come up here um, and sit and, and deal um, with all of this. And they will kind of share with you their stories, uh, their thoughts um, that they think um, will be helpful for us to uh, hear tonight um, and to share. Then after that, um, I will come back and um, I, you will all get to raise your hands and I will get to call on you. Um, and when you ask your questions, um, what would be nice is if you could say, if you want to address it to the whole panel, that would be great. Or if you want to ask one of our individual speakers um, a question, feel free to say, uh, Janet, can you tell me about? Um, I'd also like to say that I don't know what your experiences have been. But I have been working in various volunteer causes for um, a while. 
um, and working with the cause of, of uh, helping individuals that are homeless. And I have never had an experience um, where someone has been willing to come to a meeting with strangers, people they don't know, and be willing to share their story. And do that in a private setting, let alone to come to a public meeting um, and share themselves. So I thank you for your generosity, um, your spirit, um, and your willingness to do this um, with us. I think we have a special opportunity here tonight for all of us uh, to grow together. Um, as I've been a part of this task force, I've seen our community change and grow. I certainly have, I believe, changed and grown. And I think that um, tonight is a very special time for us uh, to share um, and learn together. So I hope that we find a dialogue together that is enriching um, for, for all of us. So with those opening remarks, um, I'm going to let Bobby turn on his microphone. And we're going to be informal. Um, and what we've asked our speakers to do is just to share with you a little bit about their stories and anything else that they think um, might be important for us to hear tonight. So speak as long and as you like, and we're going to make this thing work here. Okay. Hello, everyone. How are you? Good. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of myself and others from the houses, all houses, not homeless. Southern California is our home. Mm -hmm. The Houses Society, we thank you for your gift to us. The gift of re-entry to the mainstream society with a little push and a lot of help from Ms. Maureen Levis, Ms. Glenda Sherman. It was possible to do so. Thank you for putting up with my houselessness days in Temesco Canyon there for 14 years. I have a beautiful apartment in Huntington Park now. Thank you very much. With my heart up there. And um, uh, I graduated, uh, I, I, I came north, rather than go south, I came north. And uh, I grew up across the street from Lake Michigan, so I needed one. And, uh, and there's no better sights and scenes down there. You, you know, look down that canyon, and look at the water in that. Every morning I wake up, get down on the street, and that's what I'm looking at. It's hard to go away from that. Um, and then you're down, you know, you're uh, $200 a month. $200 worth of food stamps, get yourself a tent, uh, you know, in a sleeping bag, and try to do the best you can. Uh, I hope I didn't, I don't know these policemen, but I, I, know, I know a few of them. You know, I moved around, I moved around. A, a lot of came in, but uh, I was on with Topanga for a little while, and then I was on with Mallory. Then I came back. I had cancer, and I beat that. And uh, that was hard to do in the time. So, uh, as Maureen said, this was doable, and it sure was. Six months out of my out of my life to get back into the mainstream, and uh, I want to thank you all for that. Really, without your help and without your help, I wouldn't be here right now. Thank you very much. Thank you, Bob. <laughs> I don't need, I think I speak loud enough. Okay. I don't feel comfortable with the mic. Okay. Hi everyone, I'm Yaya. Um, a little bit of both. <laughs> um, well, I, hey, I'm nervous, I don't know where to start at. Well, I don't know, because I feel totally different being around here. Well, I started off, okay. I am a former foster youth, so obviously that already pushes the 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 numbers to that I'm gonna find out, fall into jail, even death, the streets, 
drugs, and unfortunately, some of them became true. Um, I come from a background with no family, no guidance. Um, mom ran the streets. Mom was um, taken from me living in the streets. I depended on um, men who abused me, used me, loved me, hated me. I lived a very um, wild life. I sometimes would get a job and because the guy said they loved me and I wanted to be loved and feel cared for. I, and the beatings came and so on and so forth. Um, three years ago, my life changed dramatically. Even though I went through those battles, I always happened to fight through them. Um, if I jump out to one relationship to another, I always happened to stand up. I would always, since the age of 15, I always had a job. I always did good in school, but I just didn't know how to deal with it. I knew how to deal with that. That was my coping skill, work in school, but I just didn't know how to deal with what was at home. I completely like would go to work and with a bruised eye and just did not even think that there was something wrong with what I was going home at, going on at home. I would wake up and go to work, wake up, go to school, and that was just my life. I never really saw nothing wrong with me getting me, me with being forced to do things. I never thought that because while I was at work those eight hours, I was in heaven. Um, three years ago, I witnessed um, something very terrible, and um, you could say the abuse, my abuser, but also someone that I codependent on a lot, was completely dis erased from my life. Um, I need help. <laughs>